Oh. Well, they set a new record. Unfortunately, the old record was held by an 80-year-old man with a heart disease. <laughs> Here. Oh. How come you even play golf like all my girlfriend's husbands? Have you ever seen the clothes those guys have to wear? <laughs> oh, I, I got just enough time to run by the college and finish picking up my things. Oh, and your tux. And my tux, thanks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you decide about next semester? Yes. I think I got the teaching bug out of my system, so I uh, told the dean that I found a replacement. Oh, God. I know it's selfish, but I want you all to myself. Well, you got me. Oh. I know I need to put on some more weight. At least I didn't lose my hair. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Cynthia, it was worth it. You beat it. Yeah. yeah. And tonight, I'm going to be the lucky stiff with the most beautiful woman in that room. Oh, I guess you're stuck with me after all. Yeah, I'm stuck with you, I'm stuck on you. And there's no place I'd rather be. Oh. You're working late, Professor. Hi. What are you doing here? I was just at a graphic place across the street, and I saw your car. How have you been? I've been great. I was uh, just about to post the grades. Well? Well, you got an A. I always said you should be teaching this course, not taking it. Well, I was inspired. Actually, I've recommended you as my replacement. You're not teaching next semester? No. No, I, I don't have the time. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm flattered. Well, I better scoot. Big plans tonight? Well, Cynthia's dad is getting some kind of an award. I'm uh, headed home, and I was wondering if you could stop by. I just finished a painting, and I could really use your opinion. I can't. It won't take that long. Don't tell me you're afraid of me. <laughs> no, of course not. It would really mean a lot to me, Alex. Okay. Just for a minute. See you later. Oh, if I'm in the shower when you get there, you know where the key is. That's a good idea. But I did it for you. Uh, you changed my life. You gave me confidence. Sheila, look, look, we've been through this and we both agreed it was a mistake. It didn't feel like a mistake. Well, it was. It was wrong. Then why did it feel so right? It wasn't just sex, Alex. No, 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 of course it wasn't. Look, I was coming unglued. Everybody needed me to be strong, and I needed... You know, I don't know what I needed. I know it was selfish of me, but I thought I was losing my wife. What do you mean you thought you were losing your wife? It's a miracle. Cynthia's in complete remission. <gasps> a miracle? 
You said she was dying, and then it would just be you and me. Sheila, we had a one-month affair. No, no, it wasn't. We were in love. And the only reason I gave you up is because Look, I... I love my wife. My family is the most important thing in the world to me. I told you that. You love me, Alex. I never said that. I'm sorry. We, we never should have started this thing. That's what we were, a thing. There's mom and dad. Ah, hey, hey, hey. oh, sweetie, honey, you look uh, sensational. Uh, I was afraid he'd talk you out of coming. Oh. <laughs> I would miss you. Congratulations, Clayton. Ah, no big deal. You write a check with enough zeros to roll out the green beans and a rubber chicken every time. Clayton. Al, how you doing? Are you nervous? Steady as a rock. Oh. He was up all night memorizing his speech so he wouldn't have to wear his glasses. Ah, oh, there she goes again. Uh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, Myers called and we got a big problem. That foreman you hired's got a prison record. Did three years for armed robbery. Now that kind of screw up makes us look real bad. Well, he was bonded. He was bonded by Chadwick. I mean, they must have they must have done a background check on him. Well, they didn't do a very good one. That's why I fired them. Just relax and enjoy yourself. I'll take care of everything Monday morning. See that you do. Hello, Marilyn. Most of you know where to turn if you're in the market for an ancient Navajo artifact, an Edward Curtis photograph, or a Remington sculpture. What you may not realize is that Clayton Edmonds is also a purveyor of compassion, kindness, and generosity. Now, as we all know, Clayton never does anything halfway. <laughs> when we first approached him about contributing to our new wing, Clayton's answer was to open his checkbook and say, how much do you need? I am delighted to announce that Clayton and Mimi's Lie to me, Dwight. Come on. If you got a record, you gotta lie. Otherwise, you don't get hired. You don't have any choice. The new insurance company won't bond you. I'm sorry. Here's two weeks' severance pay. Thanks a lot. We didn't have to do that, Dwight. Oh, excuse me if I don't get down on all fours and kiss your butt. I think you better leave. Goes around, comes around, big shot. Get out. Sure. Alex, I need you in my office. Be right there. Good morning. Edmonds Classic Western Antiquities. May I help you? Look familiar? I picked it up at an estate sale years ago. I had a hunch it'd be worth something someday. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, I remember this. And it is one of a series of six. Now, since when did you become such an expert on Japanese art? Oh, since I saw this brochure from the Holdreth Museum in New York. They've collected the other five, and they would do backflips to complete the set. I just got off the phone with them, and they have already offered me, now get this, $250,000 for mine. You know, I haven't seen this in quite some time. Oh, it's in the warehouse somewhere. Oh, they must think I'm an idiot. If their first offer is $250, they'll go at least as high as $750. I know it. The complete set would be priceless. It's great. Clayton, you've done it again. Ah. There you go. Listen, I, uh, I gotta get back to the warehouse. Oh, I'm headed there myself. Uh, Clayton, I'm gonna hire Rick to run the warehouse. Uh, this is not some summer job. I need someone I can depend on. Someone who's got a handle on their temper. He's changed. He's straightened up. Uh, I never even showed up at my banquet the other night. You know, you're always too easy on him. Nothing with Rick was ever easy. Yeah. It's kind of like you and me. <laughs> no, he's a good worker. I just want to give him another chance. Ah, oh, what the hell? He is my grandson. But he's your responsibility. Mine. Oh, I had a feeling I'd make a killing on that silk screen. <laughs> it's funny, I always thought you bought that because you were a dirty old man. That too. <laughs> Let me know when you find it. I just didn't want to explain on the phone. Explain what? Why are you here? I'm afraid I need to get the silk screen back. But you gave it to me. No, Sheila, I loaned it to you. I told you. Look, if it was mine, I'd give it to you. But it, it's not. It's Clayton's, and he wants it back. On loan? Like our whole relationship? You used me. Sheila, it is done and I can't undo it. You, you gotta let it go. Let go of what, Alex? This fantasy of yours about us being together. Fantasy? Yes. What do you think I am, some sort of psychotic? No. The only thing crazy about me is that I could have ever fallen in love with you. What kind of man has an affair while his wife is dying? I wasted a year of my life waiting for that woman to die. 